As the world population grows, the government around the globe build numerous infrastructure projects for the convenient of its citizen and to maximize its economic potentials. As the foundation of economic activities, public infrastructure needs to become more efficient and beneficial to the governments, to the business sector, and to its residents. With the advent of new technological and engineering advancement, government is not just building an ordinary project, but also project in an extremely large scale of investment, commonly known as the mega projects. Mega projects is defined as a large scale, complex ventures that typically cost one billion dollars or more, which take many years to develop and build, with a vision to become economically beneficial. Here in Southeast Asia, as one of the dynamic region with the fastest economic growth, each government builds several mega projects that will boost its economic momentum. Today, we will feature the biggest infrastructural project in each country in Southeast Asia, with a cost of more than five billion U.S. dollar. The Bodan Yentian High Speed Railway is the most expensive mega project in Lao PDR, costing six billion U.S. dollar. The Bodan Yentian Railway is a 414 km standard gauge electrified railway under construction in Laos. Between the capital Vientiane and the small town of Bodan on the border with China. Construction began at Luang Prabang on December 25, 2016. As of June 2020, the US 6 billion United States dollars project was 90% done. Work crews started laying track in Laos in March 2020, five years after breaking ground. In service is set to start in December 2021. There are 32 planned stations along the route. The final station would be Thanalang Station. While Zay Village, in Zaytani District is to be the site of Vientiane Station, the largest station on the railway. The station will consist of four platforms with seven track lines and two additional platforms with three lines reserved. It is expected to connect with other railway lines planned for Laos. The station will accommodate up to 2,500 passengers with a total area of 14,543 square meters. The project was funded by the Export-Import Bank of China. When finished, the Bodan Vientiane Railway will form an important part of the 5,500 km Trans-Asia Railway which begins in Yunnan's provincial capital Kunming, and travels through Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia and Malaysia, before ending in Singapore as part of China's Belt and Road Initiative. In Malaysia, the East Coast Rail Link is the most expensive infrastructure project, costing 10.7 billion US dollars. The East Coast Rail Link ECRL, is a standard gauge double track railway link infrastructure project. Connecting Port Klang on the Straits of Malacca to Kota Baru in Northeast Peninsular Malaysia. Connecting the East Coast Economic Region states of Pahang, Karanganu, and Kelantan to one another, and to the central region of the peninsula's west coast, with a total length of 640 kilometers. The East Coast Rail Link will consist of an intercity passenger train and a freight cargo train. The intercity passenger trains will use six car train sets for emus traveling at 160 km per hour. Cutting travel time from Kota Baru to Putrajaya and Port Klang to around four and six hours respectively. The freight cargo trains uses electric locomotives running at 80 km per hour. Estimated ridership of 5.4 million by 2030. Construction began in August 2017. The project provides 20 stations, comprising 14 passenger stations, 5 combined passenger and freight stations, and 1 freight station. The ECRL will be owned by Malaysia Rail Link MRL, a special purpose vehicle wholly owned by the Minister of Finance, Incorporated. It will be jointly operated and maintained by a 50-50 to 50 joint venture between Malaysia Rail Link and China Communications Construction Company CCCC. The project forms part of China's Belt and Road Initiative of the 5,500 km Trans-Asia Railways. Going to Thailand. 
The most expensive project is the Northeastern High Speed Rail, costing US$13.5 billion. The Northeastern High Speed Rail, Bangkok Nakhon Ratchasima Nong Kai, is a standard gauge double track railway link infrastructure project connecting Bangkok to northeastern part of Thailand in Nong Kai Province, near the border of Laos. The dual standard gauge tracks would be laid throughout the project. In Thailand, two routes would diverge at a junction in Kang Khoi District in Saraburi Province. One to connect Bangkok to Kang Khoi. The other route to connect Kang Khoi with Map Ta Phut of Rayong Province. From Kang Khoi tracks would lead north to Nakhon Ratchasima and on to Nong Thai Province. Construction would be divided into four sections, Bangkok to Kang Khoi. Map Ta Phut to Kang Khoi. Kang Khoi to Nakhon Ratchasima, and Nakhon Ratchasima to Nong Thai. The project will be financed by Thailand, but China is providing the design and will provide the train and carriages. The Thai government has estimated the project will double the country's passenger rail capacity, with more than 22 million commercial passengers expected annually. The first 252-kilometer leg from Bangkok to Nakhon Ratchasima, in the northeast, is set to carry its first passengers in 2023 but rescheduled to open in 2025. The project forms part of China's Belt and Road Initiative that aims to connect China to Singapore. From the China's Belt and Road Initiative that takes part of Laos, Malaysia, and Thailand railway projects, we will side due to airport project of Vietnam. Long Thanh International Airport, Vietnam's biggest project in history, costing 14.5 billion US dollars. Long Thanh International Airport, is an under-construction airport, located approximately 40 kilometers 25 miles east of Ho Chi Minh City. Covering a total area of more than 5,580 hectares, the airport will straddle six communes in Long Thanh District. The airport will be built in three phases over three decades, with downgraded cost of 14.5 billion US dollar from 16 billion first estimated cost. In the first phase, one runway with a length of 4,000 meters, taxiways, an apron, and a passenger terminal with other auxiliary works sprawling 373,000 square meters, built to serve 25 million passengers, and 1.2 million tons of cargo each year. The first phase is expected to be completed in 2025, with an investment of $4.7 billion. Terminal 1 was designed by Korea-based Hiram Architects, and is said to be shaped like a lotus flower, the national flower of Vietnam. The design was based on feedback from Vietnamese public and experts. The building will have a floor area of 399,987 square meters divided over four floors. Phase 2 will see the development of a second runway and terminal. This will bring total capacity to 75 million passengers and 2.7 million tons of cargo annually. The airport is designed to have four runways, four passenger terminals, and other auxiliary facilities to ensure a capacity of 100 million passengers and 5 million tons of cargo a year by 2040. Another mega airport under development in the region is the Philippines Airport City of New Manila International Airport costing 15 billion US dollar. The 2,500 hectares New Manila International Airport is part of the envisioned 12,000 hectares of Aritropolis that features residential zones, commercial districts, government centers, seaport, and an industrial zone. The proposed airport will feature at least four runways, expandable to six. Eight taxiways, and three terminal buildings expandable to four. It will have a maximum design capacity of 200 million passengers per year, when fully built, which is much larger than the current capacity of Nyon. Upon completion, it will be the second biggest airport in the world, next to China's Beijing Daxing International Airport. The first phase of the project will include a terminal building with airside and landside facilities taxiways, airport toll road, and two of the four runways, in five years. Adding plans to expand to four runways one year later. It could handle 100 million annual passengers. The Philippine government awarded the 50 years of franchise to San Miguel Corporation. 
For construction, operation, and maintenance of the airport, including the development of an adjacent airport city, called the San Miguel Aerocity Incorporated. Preparatory works is scheduled to commence in first quarter of 2021, with the land development project expected to be completed by the end of 2024, and the partial operability is set in the end of 2025. The new airport is expected to bring trillions of dollars in economic activity. 35 million tourists annually as well as 30 million tourism related jobs for people in Bulacan and nearby provinces the project will be developed by three major global airport construction firms group adp aeroports de paris meinhardt group and jacobs engineering group among the airports these firms have worked on are Singapore's famous Chani Airport, Charles de Gaulle Airport in France, and Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport in the United States. Meanwhile, the biggest infrastructure project in Southeast Asia, is the Trans-Sumatra Toll Road of Indonesia. Costing 33.2 billion US dollar. Trans-Sumatra Toll Road, is an under-construction tolled expressway stretching across Sumatra Island in Indonesia, from the northern tip of Banda Aceh to the southern tip of Bakauheni. The toll's entire length of 2,818 kilometers is estimated to cost about US$33.2 billion. United States dollars, consisting of 17 main segments, and 7 supporting segments. The toll road is expected to be completed by 2024. As of November 2020, 513 kilometers of the toll are already completed and operational. Total length of the main corridors are estimated to be 2,048 kilometers, consisting of Groundbreaking of the toll road was held on October 10, 2014. As of March 2020, a total of 500 kilometers from all corridors are operational. Even though the project is not economically feasible, due to the low volume of vehicular traffic. Indonesia is still prioritizing the work on the Trans-Sumatra Toll Road project. The project was financed by the Indonesian government and is built by PT Hutama Karya, a state-owned construction company.